I bet it was wild card number two. He was growing old and anxious for grab kids. Really? You're using your own name in puns now? You're right. That pun was chairless. <laughs> Such big muscles! Can't believe you had trouble finding a girlfriend. I worked all those muscles for myself, Gwendolyn. Thank you very much. Absolute. That's a good start. What else can we add to her? You're right, she does need a cape. A purple cape. What about a hat? What should we use for the face? You're right, she does need a cape. A purple cape. What should we use for the face? for the face. Ah, oh, perfect. What should we name her? No, uh, that's my sister's name. You know that. I'm thinking something that ends in a soft consonant. It was at that exact moment when the magical mirror called out to me. <gasps> the mirror showed me a magical reflection of a tower far away in the kingdom of Kalima. It told me that the princess I would marry was trapped at the very top, waiting for me to rescue her. Wasting no time, I grabbed a beautiful ring from the royal treasury and headed off to save my future wife. Ha! Oh, looks like my nursemaids are here. Can you excuse me for half an hour? You got it, Grandpa. Gwendolyn, it's your move. Oh. What's taking them so long? I'm honestly not sure. He's probably just distracting the nursemaids with his jokes. For four hours? Would that really surprise you? No, I guess not. So, are you excited for Grandmother's birthday? I haven't even picked out her present yet. Mother helped me pick out mine. I'm told it's the perfect gift. All right, children. Your grandpa is now ready for you. Uh, Gwendolyn? He asked to see you first. Can we go together? Best not to overwhelm him all at once. Besides, I need God's help with the daily decrees. Is it all right if we finish this after lunch? Go ahead. Wouldn't want to keep him from his favorite. Your grandfather doesn't have favorites, Scott. He loves each of you in his own special way. 
Now tidy up and meet me in the throne room. I've got three trays of appetizers with your name on them. Own special way. Eh, doesn't matter. Not with addendum 48677 in the books. Another one in there. Just one more, one last quest. Another notch of my feather, a voyage to Neptune's kingdom, or a journey through the infinite desert. Please, Mira, one final adventure. Mm. Grandpa? Ah. Just the person I wanted to see. Are you doing all right? I am now. Did they find you the right medicine? Your company is better than any medicine in those vials. Yeah. Now, come, sit. This time, you picked the story. Something with a dragon, perhaps. Actually, could you tell me more about Grandma? Everyone knows she's a great queen, and she's nice, and regal, and wonderful. But none of that's helping me pick out her birthday present. I want to get her something really special. Of course! I suppose there's no better place to start than at the beginning, when my travels led me to the Enchanted Isles. Grandpa, Mom used to tell me this story before bed. Hasn't everyone in Davenger heard this? He climbed that tower, rescued Princess Valenice, fell in love, and lived happily ever after. Well, <laughs> fairy tales have a bad habit of simplifying matters of the heart. They weave tales that love just happens easily and with no effort required. The real story is far more exciting than what you've been led to believe.
but I hadn't even met my life. True love. Ah! It's okay. True love can wait. Fate brought me to that tower to find my true love. But which one was she? I played with a magic mirror to show me a sign. Princess, will you marry me? Wait, hard pass. Hard pass? You've only just laid eyes on me, and now you're proposing? Don't you believe in love at first sight? Oh, sorry. I'm nearsighted. All I saw was an amorphous cape cliché stumbling into my bedroom window. Oh, please stand up. You're, you're embarrassing yourself. Uh, yes, well, uh, <clears throat> my apologies. My one true love. Seriously? I just watched you propose to my friend. Over there! Like ten feet away! 